Today, I'm going to show you how I go from this to this. There's not really a rhyme or reason for a lot of the things I do. It's just like, I feel like it and it looks how I want it to look. I like to look as like cartoonish as possible. Hi, my name's Toshi Salvino and I'm a living art doll. And today I'll be showing you my makeup transformation. So now I'm going in with my signature thing, which is white foundation. A lot of people see my look and they think, oh my God, that's so much makeup. Um, but actually I like to use really thin layers. So it's actually quite comfortable and not heavy at all. The most important part of the living doll look would definitely be the big eyes with the white underneath and two sets of eyelashes. My makeup journey began when I was nine years old and somehow I got sky blue lipstick and I wanted to wear it to school. My mom said no and I brought it to school anyway. <laughs> and it started from there. I remember I had this like long chiffon skirt that was like blue and pink and like layered and it like blew in the wind really cool. And that was like one of my first pieces that really like spoke to me of like, wow, you can totally become something otherworldly through clothing. My look now has definitely evolved. Right now I'm in a phase that I like to call um, psychedelic cute. <laughs> so very like trippy and lots of colors and very like kind of chaotic and all over the place, but like in a fun way. Now that I have um, my base foundation on and the cream colors kind of outlining where I want my colors to be, at this point I go in with translucent setting powder. So I take a puff and just pack it in. And when, you, when it doesn't feel sticky anymore and you can rub it, that's when you know you have enough. So, to do my eyes. I want them to be really big, right? So I'm going to be creating like a fake eye. So you see this line here underneath? This is where I'm gonna put white to make it look like my eye is bigger. But to balance that out, we need to have like an equal amount of black on the top. I feel like it's looking okay so far. It still kind of feels like nothing, but that's part of the process. It doesn't look good until you're done. <laughs> I love to contour under my jaw as well. It just makes my chin look really nice and tiny and cute. I like to look as like cartoonish as possible, meaning like I want my head to look really big and my body small. There's not really a rhyme or reason for a lot of the things I do. It's just like, I feel like it and it looks how I want it to look. And that's like the only reason for makeup anyway. You do whatever you want. If you feel good, then you're doing it right. It can get confusing when you're only known for like being like the makeup chick or whatever. Um, and then actually during COVID, I was trying to focus on being a Twitch streamer and I wanted to do makeup looks a lot uh, and do it online. And I started having allergic reactions to makeup, I think due to stress. So I actually had to stop wearing makeup for like a year. And that was like a whole, process of like, <laughs> who am I without makeup? And like, what does this mean? I've actually been able to grow by like exploring other avenues. There's this quote, it might be from Tony Stark. <laughs> and it says, um, if you're nothing without it, then you shouldn't have it at all. And I just thought that that was really impactful and meaningful. I have my base colors on. I use matte colors for that. Now I'm moving on to like shimmers and iridescence. This is gonna help blend it out, but also like play with the contour a little bit more by adding things that like literally catch light. For me, the hardest thing is lips because it's hard to get them even. And I always forget what shape I like to make them. Oh my God, lipstick is hard. Does this look even? <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna glue some stuff to my face now. People who say it's too extreme, they're just scared. I would recommend that they try it because I don't think anything is too extreme. Like, 
if you feel weird, there's other weird people out there. There you go. Just doing some minor adjustments and then final step is setting spray. I feel good. I feel cute. I feel like I have arrived. I'm ready to take on my day. And that is how I go from this to this. So there you have it. This is how I like to look like a living doll.